hey guys welcome back to my channel mi tutorials in this particular tutorial i'm going to teach you how do you refresh your dashboard whenever you have your data source updated for example uh, i have the data source as an excel sheet for this particular dashboard which i have over here and uh, my sales data over here is all the way from 2017 to 2020 right uh, i'm going to teach you how do you refresh the dashboard whenever you have a new data set added or let's say you have updated your uh, data in the excel or you have added or deleted one or one or the one or more columns in your excel sheet right so let's get started i have uh, a sample data set over here what i'm going to quickly do is i'm going to select the year 2020 and uh, just copy the entire data and then paste it at the end of the uh, data set over here and then replace the 2020 year with 2021 right this is basically a sample data set so now i have the data for 2021 i am going to save this file and then i'm going to go back to the bi now this is how you can update there are two ways where you can update the data one is you can see a refresh button on the under the home tab here uh, so the moment you click on this refresh button the entire dashboard gets updated irrespective of how many tables that you have here you might have multiple data sources one might be connected to excel the other might be connected to sql when you click on this particular refresh button over here everything sort of gets refreshed the entire data model gets updated right but let's say you just want to refresh a particular Excel file or a particular SQL uh, data set that you have in your dashboard. All you need to do is click on these three ellipses over here and then click on refresh data. So let's wait and see what happens when this data gets refreshed, right? So as you can see here, uh, my 2021 data has been updated, right? Um, so you didn't have to do anything. All you have to do is just click on these three but, uh, ellipses over here and then click on refresh data right now let's go back to our sheet over here and let's add a new column let's add a new column call this as uh, sales minus discount okay and then let us do sales minus discount okay simple logic uh, i'm just going to paste the entire formula over here and let me paste this special and uh, save this file right so this is the new column that we've added now sales minus discount all you need to do is again go back and do the same thing that we did just refresh the data and you will see a new column that is added that is sales minus discount and you can just pull this out and check this for yourself this is what we've added and uh, you can change you can create a bar graph um, let's say click on order date and then bring the sales minus discount to your values and there you have it your sales minus discount uh, uh, column has been added right so this is how you refresh the dashboard and uh, i hope this video has helped you and you've learned something new please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials